on planet Earth. When seen from outer space, it looks like this. It does look like a ball, but it is not so. The actual shape of our Earth is geoid. It is more like a ball that is little flattened at the top and the bottom. About three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered by water in oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, etc. While only one-fourth is covered by land. The Earth is home to different kinds of animals and birds. Plants grow on the Earth because of the presence of air, water, soil and sunlight. Earth is perhaps the only planet known to have life on it. The Sun and the Solar System The Earth is a part of the Sun's family, the Solar System. The Solar System consists of the Sun situated at its center and other heavenly bodies revolving around it. The Solar System belongs to a larger group of heavenly bodies called the Universe. Did you know that the Sun is a star? It is the closest star to the Earth. What are planets? Planets are heavenly bodies that travel around the Sun on fixed paths called orbits. There are eight planets in our solar system that revolve around the Sun in fixed orbits. Observe this picture to see the different planets in the solar system and their individual orbits. Planets in order of their position from the Sun. Mercury It is the smallest and closest planet to the Sun. Venus it is the brightest appearing planet at dawn and dusk. Earth It has presence of air and water. It is also known as the blue planet. Mars It is the fourth planet from the sun. It is also called the red planet. Jupiter. It is the fifth planet from the Sun. It is the largest planet in our solar system. Saturn. It is the sixth planet from the Sun. It is the second largest planet. Uranus. It is the seventh planet from the Sun. It is light blue in color. Neptune It is the eighth and outermost planet. It is also the coldest planet. Pluto, once considered a planet in our solar system, is no longer considered a planet, but is regarded as a dwarf planet. If you go to the seashore and look out into the sea, you will see the earth appears to touch the sky. The line where the two seem to meet is called the horizon.